I'm Chris, this is CK Woodworks. Welcome to my shop. Thank you for checking my video. Today, we are making Mjolnir. This build was a, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm, I was really excited for this build. This is made out of solid oak. It turned out super heavy, super dense, just the way I wanted it. It's gonna be a going away gift for somebody that I work with and I can't wait to see their face when they get it. So first and foremost, please just be aware this is not a nerd rage kind of build where the details are important. This is more of an inspiration build. Don't get me wrong. I can be that nerd, just not right now. I'm ready to show you how I did it. Hang around. I bought a thicker five quarter board because my plan is to gang this up and just make one big solid block. I want this thing to come out nice and heavy when you pick it up. I've already done a little bit of pre-work by taking one long board, laying out some lines, just cutting it down to manageable sized pieces. The way I intend to join the handle to the head of the mallet is with a wedge mortise. You take the handle, you split it down the middle, you drive a wedge in there, and as it expands, it grabs the head and pulls it down onto the handle. You'll see how that works a little later. For now, I just needed to get that cut so I can get this thing glued up. passes through my jointer gets everything squared up really quick even if it is a little angry over the two end grain side. The reason I'm gluing these sections on the end like this is because I wanted it to show the long grain instead of the end grain on the ends. I just thought it would look better. This is purely an aesthetic choice and I really don't have to do it this way. While the block is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the handle a little bit. I'm using a dado stack to slowly nibble away material for the tenon to fit into that mortise. Once I'm satisfied, I'll go ahead and cut away the whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to round over the handle. I don't have a lathe and I don't have a belt sander with slack part in it. I have a handheld belt sander from Harbor Freight and a bench vise. So it's one of those cases of just working with what you got. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to make it work, so. <laughs> That was a show, but uh, I finally got it done and I got my handle down to round. I did that by running out to Harbor Freight and dropping a bunch of money on a brand new lathe. Turns out I'm just that kind of person who instead of putting in the time and having the patience to do something with what I got, I'm gonna drop a 200 bucks on a new power tool. But it worked and I got the handle like I wanted. I did end up having to cut a bunch off the end 
to get it to fit on here and it's a bit shorter than I want, but I guess that's just something I'll have to think about in the future if I ever do this again. Now with this done, I can move back onto the head of the hammer and finish that up. I left the two end caps a little bit proud on purpose so that I could come back later and get a perfect fit. The router really did not like doing this. It was really rough. There was a lot of tear out. In the end, I made it work. Most of the damage that was done is gonna end up being cut off anyways when I do the corners. complicated than I expected but uh, I got through it. Mistake number one, my camera died. I didn't check the battery which is cool because y'all didn't see mistake number two. One of these corners I just I was completely off, completely screwed it up, cut it way too deep. The only way to save it was to chop off the top layer, recut a couple of the corners and continue on. It turned out okay. Uh, it's a little smaller than I wanted and that took off a lot of the weight but it's still Still pretty hefty. So I also put in these little facets right here on the corners. Every picture I looked at while I was researching this had these little facets in it. And rather than try to do some crazy compound miter cut, I just sanded those in by hand. While I was sanding, I went through and sanded off all the burn marks. And that's when this thing really, to me, is starting to come alive. With the, the corners cut off, the burn marks gone. It's all sanded where it's supposed to be. It's really starting to look like something now, I think. I'm going to finish sanding the head through the grits, and then I'm going to go ahead and start in on getting my handle attached. I'll go over to the bandsaw, cut down, I'm going to drill in a couple holes at the bottom of my cut so that hopefully as I'm wedging it apart, it doesn't actually split the wood. And then uh, glue this up, and it should actually start to look like a hammer. final detail left to work out and that's the cap that goes on top. I'm going to start out by resawing one of the leftover pieces I have down to about 3 eighths. That was a definite moment of how the hell do I glue this together? I figured it out. But with that final detail done, I can now move on to finishing this. Now I just gotta wait for that to dry, do a little bit of touch up sanding, and then I'm gonna start finishing. First I'm gonna apply a coat of tongue oil to really pop that grain on this wood. And then uh, I'm gonna let that dry overnight and then seal that in with a coat of spray lacquer. And then uh, we can move on. I'm hoping to have this done in like the next two days. At this point, a lot of it's just waiting for the finish to cure. Really happy with how this is turning out. That turned out just beautiful. I am overwhelmed with joy at how this thing has turned out. Last thing I wanna do before I can call this done is I wanna wrap this handle with some 550 cord. This is something I've never done before. I feel like I say that in every single one of my videos. This is something I've never done before, but uh, 
That's kind of the point, isn't it? I don't want to just learn to make something and make that same thing over and over again. Uh, I'm continually trying to expand my skill set. And if you ask me, if you're not doing that, you're wrong. The biggest difference here though, is that my explorations into new skills are documented right here. So if I fail at it, you're gonna see that too, I promise. On to the next step. what yes okay it's exactly what it looks like i don't really know how to do the knot on the end that thing is crazy so i'm watching a youtube video on how to do the thing that i'm trying to put in my youtube video get over it that's how i'm gonna roll So look, I was never a scout, okay? I have no not making ability, sorry. But uh, it's at least strong enough to do this. So I'm calling it good. So there it is, the finished build. Again, I couldn't be happier with the way this turned out and uh, I can't wait to give it to the person it's meant for. If you like it, please let me know. Smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, leave comments, whatever. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you on the next video.